today that I would just go for a little bit of a stroll. Uh, initially, I was wanting to go up to the Pantheon, which I think is where I'll still end up going. But then I just decided to hop out here because I didn't realize that there were still Christmas markets going on in Saint Germain. And, uh, you know, I thought we could pass by, check out this. I'm just gonna go for a walk. I've, I've been wanting to go for one for a while. No real point. Just kind of make my way along and uh, we'll see where that takes us from there. to get out for a stroll. I think speaking about like inertia yesterday and having a hard time just getting up and going, I think it's a good idea to, you know, just try to go out, especially on days where it's sunny, just see one thing. Take advantage of the fact that I live in Paris because honestly, it's pretty easy to forget that I live in Paris <laughs> from time to time, which probably sounds funny. But when you live in your tiny little cave and maybe, you know, I have my routine going down, getting some work done, some of which do get me out of the house and whether that's out for runs or down to the cafe to check in on things. Uh, you know, it's, it's also easy to forget that I live in this city that I've always wanted to live in and worked so hard to be here. And honestly, it feels like this year has just been completely lost, which I recognize is a very common feeling right now for the way that the year has gone. Should I cross here? I wonder if I should cross here if we're gonna go, because I also want to take a walk through the Luxembourg Gardens while we're here. Oh, I'll cross up here. But uh, it can be really easy just to sit at home and uh, feel productive for a while, but then feel like it starts to go a little bit stir crazy or just, I don't know, feel kind of stuck. So getting up, going for a walk can definitely help with that a little bit. At least that's the hope, that's the theory. So we'll see how that plays out. But right now, it's lovely. Good way to get out and enjoy some sunshine before the sun sets early. And hey, in due time, the sun's gonna be setting later and later. And uh, you know, before we know it, we'll be back to summer. It is always nice to stop and kind of look at these apartments that are for sale. This one is extremely expensive though. Everything on here is like between one and a half and like five million euros. If you want to go live in this music pavilion of the, uh, the Countess of the province of Versailles. Like what? I mean, hey, plenty of room to dream, right? Although I don't know if I want a music pavilion. It did look beautiful. There's an artist atelier there or an artist workshop. Oh, for 1.6 million. It is kind of fun though. It's, I, like, I like stopping at those windows and dreaming a little bit. It's nice. Maybe someday, you never know. But in the meantime, I can walk through the park for free. kind of crazy I've never walked over to see like it's drained and 
I wonder if the, wow, that's so weird to see it like this. It looks like, it feels like it's just been torn apart. It's weird. Hey, there's our end goal though. We'll head up there here after we take a stroll through the garden. It's nice to see people out and about and just enjoying the park a little bit here. And it's nice that the parks aren't going to be closed. They said, at least for now, they're not going to take any more dramatic measures like another lockdown. Although they might move curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. in like the seriously affected areas. And in the list that I saw, Paris or Ile de France wasn't listed as one of the departments that would have to uh, conform to that. But I, I, I can't imagine. I, I imagine that we will. But time will tell. We'll find out soon enough. <sighs> it's funny though, because it doesn't, it doesn't, with the sun out, it doesn't feel that cold. It's nice just to take a stroll. Doing me some good for sure. I have a lot of work I gotta get done this afternoon. Brian was texting me before I left and I need to make sure that I get on top of that. Oh, I totally thought I could exit here. I'll exit over there. But uh, yeah, what a privilege that I can just, I don't know, take a walk through here and uh, stretch my legs, get some sunshine and then go back to work. You know, seems pretty neat to me. And it's a good reminder. It's a good reminder. This is exactly what I was after today. I needed this. A reminder where I live and why, basically. Lucky to be here. the city I just don't see anymore. I haven't been up to Montmartre in months either. So I'll have, maybe I'll have to take a stroll up there sometime soon too. But uh, yeah, surprisingly satisfying. this little stroll because I sure know I did. That was exactly what I needed. It's a wonderful little chilly day out here in Paris. Most stuff's still closed. A lot of stuff's still closed, but some of the shops are open. Uh, I know the Peloton is open and I could use a little afternoon coffee. So uh, I think I'll stroll down there, grab myself a coffee and then head home and, you know, get back to pounding away at the grind. But I did, I, uh, I doodled a little bit this morning. Just drew a little ship, thinking about the Sea of the Unknown and all the potential future drawings I could do. I was like, well, I'll do something that I'm familiar with and had a lot of fun drawing a little ship and actually putting it on water. I did the whole thing in color. It was fun. I don't know, nothing really to uh, write home about, but I still really liked it and hope you like it too. And uh, yeah, I'll go grab that coffee and then I'll see you again bright and early one of these mornings sometime soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not, I don't know. Still kind of like feeling this out as I go, but I'll, uh, I'll see you for that. Hope you're having a good day. Stay warm, stay safe, and you know, take care of somebody near you if you can. Also, special thanks to today's patron producer, Catherine Moorhead, my most recent patron as of this recording. And uh, thanks for being here, Catherine. Makes a big difference. And thanks to all my patrons. As always, and all of you for watching, and for just being here in general. But thanks again to my patrons. They make little sanity strolls like this possible in the first place. And if you'd like to become a patron and run the risk of randomly getting selected as a patron producer, hey, I won't stop you.